and welcome back to my channel my name is Katie and today I'm going to be sharing with you some DIYs so I love making DIYs you guys seem to really enjoy them so hopefully you will like these today before I jump into going over what type of DIYs I'll be sharing in this video I wanted to say a huge thank you for all of your kind words and support on my new Etsy shop if you didn't know my husband and I opened up an Etsy shop and you guys have just been so sweet and so supportive if you haven't checked that out I will link it in my description box down below but I'm really Really excited and I just wanted to say thank you so so much because you are all so appreciated. So today's video is going to be DIYs for your bathroom and most of these items are from the Dollar Tree. So that is going to be all for the intro. Let's go ahead and get right into these DIYs. So I picked up three of these glass and milk jugs from Dollar Tree. I love the detailing on them. I feel like they have such a farmhouse style vibe and what I wanted to do with these was paint them and distress them. I gave these milk jugs a coat of black spray paint first and then I followed that up with two coats of chalk paint in white and after that had dried thoroughly then I used some sandpaper to go over the detailing of the jugs and also around the lip. So this part will be up to you guys on how much paint you want to take off, but I really love the detailing on this, so I really wanted it to shine through as much as I could. So I took off quite a lot and I love the finished look. So here is how they turned out and I am obsessed. For just $3 I feel like they look amazing. I used greenery from Chip and Joanna Gaines' line at Target. It was on sale but you could also pick up greenery at any craft store or at Dollar Tree. The next DIY is some bathroom shelves. So we went to Lowe's and picked up some flat stock metal. These were $6 and we got two of them and then we measured them to 10.5 inches and used a plasma cutter to cut them down to that size. My husband said that the actual tool that you're supposed to use for this is called a metal bandsaw, but those are about $20,000 and we don't have that money to spend on a metal bandsaw, so this works just as well. After the metal was cut, then my husband bent the metal at a 90 degree angle 4 inches up from the bottom. This clamp helps keep the metal in place so it doesn't move around while trying to bend it and then my husband just used a set of pliers to bend this metal and then measured it after it had been bent to make sure that it was the proper length. After that, he used a power drill to drill a hole into the shorter side, the 4 inch side, where it would be hung on the wall. Next we used white spray paint to paint two 7 inch by 28 inch boards and we attached them to these metal pieces. After the boards were attached then we hung the shelves above the toilet and these each came out to be about six dollars each. We had a couple of pieces of wood at our house. If you didn't have the wood it would be a little bit more but that's way less expensive than if you buy shelves pre-made and I thought that these turned out so cute. I will show you how I decorated these shelves in just a minute. I have a couple of items that I used from Dollar Tree to decorate the top of these so I'm going to show you those and then show you how everything looks all together. I picked up three of these glass jars from Dollar Tree and sorry the lighting is so yellow. I'm not sure why I was recording in my restroom and the lighting isn't quite as good in there but I did fill these up with cotton balls and q-tips. You can find q-tips and cotton balls at Dollar Tree and this entire display can be made from items that you can find there. I feel like Dollar Tree's Q-tips might not be as cheap actually as if you just bought a huge pack from Walmart, but this way they don't all end up getting lost and thrown everywhere. I got this wire basket from Dollar Tree and I really didn't do anything to it because I liked it just how it was and I just put some folded up white hand towels into this basket and I got these white hand towels from Target but you could just use some wash rags that you can get from Dollar Tree for a dollar if you would rather. I just had these hand towels already so I didn't buy any more wash rags. 
I also got this long basket from Target and I looked for something at the Dollar Tree. I just didn't find what I wanted. So I had to make a little bit of a splurge. I know, I know. But I just filled this up with toilet paper and my plan with this was just to put it on the back of my toilet. So I typed up this label just on my computer and then I printed it out on regular sticker paper or it's just paper that has an adhesive backing and then I cut it down to size and I put it on this empty soap bottle and I should have filled this bottle up with soap before I did this but sometimes I don't think things through. So this was really easy though and honestly I just wrote this and I wrote whatever I wanted it to say and I feel like it looks like it was way more expensive than what it actually was. I got the soap and the soap dish at Dollar Tree and for the soap dish all I did was hit it with a couple <laughs> coats of white spray paint. Super super easy and inexpensive. Okay so you can print off this free printable soap label from houseofhargrove.com and shout out to Chic on the Cheap because she actually did this in her video. I will link her channel and put a card up above if you want to check that out. So what I did was just print this off and then I took one of these soaps out from the container and I wrapped it up and then I tied some jute twine around the outside. After that I used some tape to remove part of the paint that was on the soap dish. I wanted to give this a distressed rustic look and I I am loving how this turned out. Actually, my original thought was to paint around the outside edge of this, but I put some tape on there and it took some of the paint off and I love the look. So there you go. Sometimes accidents turn out to be better than what you expected. After that, the final step was to decorate these shelves and I used several of the DIYs that I just showed you and I also put a couple of the signs that we sell in our Etsy shop and my favorite one is the nice butt one. I just think it's hilarious and I got this little clock from Ikea a while back and this white potted plant is from Ikea as well. Oh, I can get enough, get enough. Don't get that is going to be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite DIY was and also any videos that you would like to see soon. And I will talk to you all in my next one. Bye guys. Hope you have an amazing day.